what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? Things just got real for Jenny Mai. The real co-host has stated that her and her husband, Freddie Hartize, are divorcing after 10 years of marriage. They're amicably splitting. Here's the thing. There was no lies. This is according to her. No lies, no cheating, no betrayal, no abuse, no nothing. They're divorcing because he wants kids and she doesn't. That's it. This is something that I'm finding out is very common for one person in a relationship to want kids and the other don't. I've been there myself. So it's personal. Here's the thing. She said that she was up front with her intentions. He said that he was up front with his. He said, hey, I want kids. She said, I don't want kids. But I think that both of them liked each other enough that they wanted to be with each other. And they thought that they would win the other over eventually. Because you know how it goes. You know, love always prevails, right? Not in this case. She described Freddie as the best man she's ever known. That's what she said. He's the best man I know. So I'm thinking, what is she going to do? She just had the best man. She's married to the best man in the world. And she's purposely going to break that up to go searching for another man who the odds would tell you that she ain't likely to find that's going to measure up to Freddie. This is, uh, this is quite interesting to me. What kind of dude is she going to end up with? On one hand, I think she's very foolish to walk away from a man who she described in such glowing terms. There aren't that many amazing people out there. On the other hand, I have to commend her for not having a baby for someone else. Having a baby is a very huge responsibility. It is the most important responsibility, I would dare say. People take this way too lightly. And I think that she weighed all of the options and she said, you know, I just don't want to have children. And I'm going to tell you something. In today's world, in this society, in a Donald Trump's America, I wouldn't want to bring kids here either. No way possible. I can understand it. I can understand the husband also. I understand his position. He wants children. And people that want children, they got to have children. So I get it. But for them to amicably split, that's a grown-up move. I'm grown, that's grown folks right there because unlike some people who would just go and get into the relationship and become enemies and have all these issues and things, they decided, you know what, it's best that we go our way, our separate way right now and at least savage our friendship. I've heard a lot of people call Jenny my selfish. I don't think she's selfish. I think that when you don't want children, that is a huge responsibility. If you don't want children, you shouldn't have them. Because bottom line, People who don't want children make horrible parents. No more talk. What, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. Order,
Thanks. Thanks.